G'day guys, Ben here from Solar and Sat, and this week in the workshop, we're actually working on one of the largest vehicles we've ever seen, and we're putting in one of the largest power systems we've ever done in a mobile setup. So what we've got here is 2,800 watts of solar on the roof, that's 14 Shervy 200 watt solar panels, and a 30 kilowatt hour lithium battery bank. For those of you that are used to talking in 12 volt, that's actually the equivalent of a 2,400 amp hour system at 12 volt. It's a heck of a system and a heck of a rig. Let's go inside and take a look. All right, I'm still a little bit in awe of this thing. Hey, I can't even touch the ceiling in here. Plenty of room for Ian, the cameraman, and myself. You can see big household fridge freezer there. We've obviously got the coffee machine, got a microwave oven. There's a spot there for a dishwasher. They've got a full-size washing machine, twin air conditioners, more lights than you can poke a stick at. Obviously, they need a heck of a power system for their heck of a rig. Um, to be honest, the customer did really well backing in here. Obviously, they towed this with a prime mover. Now, the way he got that, this in here was pretty damn impressive. Um, it was probably a good thing we had him on hand um, to actually put it in himself because, yeah, he had that thing half sideways in the driveway. He did, did very, very well. But enough of that. If we head over here, we've got our Touch 70 display as you see in all of our power systems. Now with a 48 volt setup, it's handy to be able to talk in watts um, because obviously amps don't necessarily correlate super well when you're crossing over voltages between 12, 48 and 240. So we're talking in watts, the old saying, a watt is a watt no matter what. So if we talk in watts, it'll help keep everything a little bit more comparable. So we're using 400 watts at the moment, that's the load. So obviously that at a 12 volt system is about 28 amps, gives you a bit of an idea of how much power it's using. In a typical 12 volt like caravan setup with let's say a 200 amp power lithium battery, that'd flatten that in about eight hours, seven hours or so. And that's just running the lights in the, the fridge. Um, so that doesn't even leave any room for cooking, uh, running the washing machine, if you wanna make a coffee, that's just fridge and lights. So that helps give us some perspective on why we've got on the size system that we have. So obviously 2,800 watts of solar on the roof, 30 kilowatt hour lithium battery bank. There's a reason they needed this much power. And obviously it's because they have such a large setup. So 400 watts going out at the moment. Um, only 70 watts being used for AC, so fridge is kicked out. Obviously no solar because it's in the workshop. Um, I reckon we wander down, have a bit of a look at the power plant, and we'll run over some of the finer details down there. Come follow me. As you can tell, definitely a big setup. The truck driver, uh, the owner I should say, when he's backed it in here, he's obviously got three slide outs. I'd say he's clearly done this before because he's done really well. Obviously here's the big power plant. We've got a bunch of stuff going on down here. Obviously there's the big 48 8kVA Quattro. Um, there's some cool stuff on that I'll touch on in a second. But we'll start at the top left here and make our way down. So we obviously use the Lynx distribution system, the Lynx shunt, there's a Lynx distributor for all our fusing. Being a 48 volt system, you have to use 48 volt, uh, volt rated fuses. 12 volt stuff just isn't gonna cut it. Um, coming down from that, we've got two 48 to 12 volt uh, converters here. That'll run all the 12 volt loads around the place as well as charge the generator starting battery up the front. Over here, got a 150-45 smart solar solar controller. Now that there will take care of 2000 watts of the solar up on the roof. And the little fella below it, the 100-20, it'll take care of another 800 watts. Now a lot of people think, look at that and go, oh geez, 20 amp controller, how's that taking care of 800 watts? Being that's a 48 volt system, we can actually use four times smaller wiring, four times smaller solar controller. So you definitely pick up some efficiency gains, that's for sure. Then you've got yourself a Servo GX over here. That's powering that touch screen up there and serving as a communication device for all the equipment in here. Then for the battery bank, being such a large system, a bit of an awkward place to fit it. We've sat it on a, a braced area. Um, this area here probably couldn't really handle the weight. Although it's lithium, it's still very heavy being that large. Probably about 185 kilos, um, we sort of estimated. I haven't actually weighed them, but um, knowing the weight of each cell and the weight of the material, about 180 kilos. We split it into two halves, which made it a little bit easier to manage, but they were still heavy. So we got four of the boys in here, braced the floor before we went in lifted those four, uh, two batteries in at that, at that weight, and then we joined them together and finished the rest of the construction in where it's at behind this back panel. That basically powers this whole show. Now, obviously that big battery we built in there was one of the first things we had to do, being that we had to hide it in behind this board. It has its own little separate area. As I said, it's braced to handle all that weight, got big steel bars under it to hold it. But basically it's a 48 volt battery bank, 600 amp hour. It's got two 250 amp rated BMSs inside of it. That gives them a 500 amp discharge rating at 48 volt. Now that's the same as 2000 amps at 12. So we can certainly provide the power to run this system. It'll handle that 8 kVA inverter at its full surge rating. Um, and obviously it can recharge really quickly as well, which was obviously what we need for such a big solar array. So it's perfect for our application. It doesn't actually have built-in temperature protection. So what we've done instead is we've run a bunch of temperature probes in there and wired it up to all the Victron charging equipment. Now this guy, I said I'd touch on a few things. Obviously being an 8 kVA unit, it there, if we just wired up to a regular 16 amp circuit like you'd normally see in a caravan, the breaker would trip long before the inverter overloaded. So what we've actually done is we've got four separate circuits, one for each aircon, so that's two. 
We've got one for the kitchen and one for everything else. And that'll allow us to split that 8kVA up into four separate areas and allow the customer to utilize the full capacity of their system. Now, being a Quattro instead of a MultiPlus, it's actually got two AC inputs as well. So what we've done is we've used AC in one for the grid so they can plug in, charge off the grid. And then we've used AC in two off their own generator at the front. And that'll allow them to punch up 20 amps at 240 in off the generator, which can charge up their system if they do find themselves running a little bit behind, or if they just want to take some load off, punch some power in. Um, it does give them that option and flexibility. Don't need to be flicking transfer switches or anything like that. They can just start their journey or they can plug into mains and it'll take care of it all automatically. So there we go, one more huge power system knocked out of the solar and sat workshop. We're about to hand it over to the customers. Hopefully they're as wrapped with it as we are. And if you guys are enjoying this style of content, make sure you give us a like and subscribe. Thanks.